Would you be interested in an exercise that can help your horse's coordination, so the awareness of his feet, his conditioning, and also encourage him to move better? That's what I'm gonna give you in today's video. I'm Callie, you're watching CRK Training. This is my weekly video show where I just share a tip on riding, on training, or on horse care. And this week, I wanted to actually share a series of exercises, but they're all based on using poles, on using Cavaletti. So I'm first gonna tell you the basic benefits of using Cavaletti for your horse. And then I'm gonna give you three exercises that you can set up with poles. And then I'm gonna share two book resources. So if you wanna do more with this, you've got gonna have some great references to go even further. In the beginning of the video, I already briefly went through the main benefits of using Cavaletti poles. So when we set up poles, and especially when we set them in different ways, they really do help our horse's coordination. So the horse basically has to become more aware of how and where they're placing their feet. It also helps with conditioning. So the horse uses different muscles and has to work a little bit harder in order to step over poles, especially as we start increasing the number of poles and increasing the number of times that we're asking the horse to move through them. The other thing that's really helpful about pole work is when the horse goes over the poles, it encourages them to stretch forward and out with their neck. So as they stretch forward and out with their neck, it also encourages them to lift their back and swing more through their legs. So we work on getting the horse in that better pattern of movement for riding, where their back is lifted, their neck is going forward and down, and then they're not only moving more freely, but they're also in that better posture for carrying our weight when we're riding. What I'm gonna do next is tell you about three different ways that I often use for setting up the poles. The first one is very simple. It's just setting the poles up a consistent distance apart on a straight line. A lot of times we start off just walking through the poles and you're gonna to wanna to start walking and trotting over just one pole, working up to two, three, four, and so on. So you always start little and you build as your horse gets used to working over them. When you're setting poles for trotting, which is the gate that you're gonna be doing most of your pole work over, at least for this exercise, you wanna set them about four or four and a half feet apart. You're gonna make each one a consistent distance, and then you can vary the length or the, vary the distance between the poles so that it matches your horse's stride. Obviously, horses are gonna have a different stride length. A pony's gonna need the poles set a little bit closer together than a big moving warm blood. So what I like to do is I set the poles first so that the horse moves through them without having to make much of a variation from their normal working trot. And then what I do is I start to just slightly increase the distance between the poles just so I get to the point where as the horse comes into the poles, I feel like he has to um, reach and extend his stride length a little bit longer. So that's the basis of this first exercise. It's just setting up the poles on a straight line, a consistent distance apart, and then slowly increasing the distance between the poles so that it encourages a slightly longer stride length, and then working on adding more poles as your horse gets conditioned and is, gets comfortable with working over this series of poles. The next exercise is to take the poles. I usually start with three for this, and I do this after the horse has already been working on some poles at a straight line, and you put them in a fan pattern. So what this does is it helps to encourage a little bit more bending. So it encourages the horse to reach the same way. So they're reaching forward and down with their neck, but they're also reaching a little bit in the direction of the bend. Same as with any exercise, start it nice and easy, start at the walk, and then work up to doing it at trot and work up to adding more poles. So in the fan pattern, obviously the poles are closer together at um, the one end towards the inside of the circle, and then there's a larger spacing towards the outside of the circle. Again, you can adjust the amount of the fan so that it fits your horse's stride. You can also adjust sometimes going towards the um, closer end where the poles are closer together, and then sometimes riding over the further end towards the outside where they're gonna be a little further apart to vary the exercise. The third exercise is to set poles randomly. 
So this is where you're going to take a number of poles and you're going to put them on the ground. I like to say it kind of looks like pickup sticks. So you just put them on the ground, you put them random different ways, and then you just walk over these. So you're just walking over them and having the horse figure out how to carefully place his feet and work his way through the poles. And this is one of the best ones, I think, for just kind of developing that um, awareness. And if you have a horse that hasn't quite figured out that reaching down, it can really trigger that because he's reaching down to get a better visual on the placing of the poles and where to set each foot as he works his way through. So those are the three pole exercises that you can get started with. And then if you'd like to do more, I would encourage you to check out these two references. So this first one is um, by Ingrid and Reiner Klimke. This is Cavaletti for Dressage and Jumping. This is a great reference book. And then the second is 101 Jumping Exercises for Horse and Rider. This book starts off with quite a few exercises just with poles on the ground. And then of course it works up into a number of different uh, jumping grids. So if you're also working on your jumping, um, these are both great resources, but especially this second one is a great resource for that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and scroll down, leave a comment, and just tell me some type of Cavaletti exercise or pole work that you've done with your horse and how you feel it benefited them. So I look forward to seeing your comments. And if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, that's where the best comments happen. You can sign up there for several of our free short courses as well as get updates and make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel here so that you never miss any of these weekly videos.